Hi, welcome to online tutorial series on Arduino and IoT. This is project 2 video and in this project video we will talk about how to control uh, speed of a DC motor uh, with a potentiometer uh, using Arduino. You know. So for more information you can also visit us at uh, our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org. We also provide online training and tuition classes and we also uh, help in technical assignments and we also do freelance based project based on embedded system, MATLAB, uh, Python, data science and machine learning. So if you have any such requirement then you can let us know by uh, contacting, uh, contacting us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com or you can also visit us at www.jcbrolabs.org. Okay. So, as we discussed in this video, we will talk about a speed control of DC motor. So, when we talk about a speed control, so this is a classical problem of electrical system. Okay. So, speed control means, uh, suppose we have a DC motor as we have discussed in our earlier videos. And if we say if we are applying a plus minus 12 volt here and let's say it is running at 1000 rpm. So speed control means uh, we want to vary the speed of this DC meter. Let's say we want uh, it to run to at 800 rpm or 500 rpm or 100 rpm uh, based on our convenience. Because it finds several applications in um, electrical vehicles and uh, electrical machineries. And there are several applications of this particular uh, requirement. Okay, so uh, the uh, simplest way of uh, getting this vary, uh, varying speed is simply by reducing the voltage. Let's say if we say if we apply a 10 volt, we can get 800 rpm. If we apply a 6 volt, we can get 500 rpm. And let's say if we apply plus 12 volt, we can get a 100 rpm. So if we keep on changing the voltage which is being applied on across this DC motor then we will get uh, varying speeds of this DC motor okay so in this case too if we want to control the speed of this DC motor we are going to apply our uh, different voltages uh, at uh, these points and then we will uh, we'll see how this speed of this DC motor is varying now the next question is uh, uh, how we'll get uh, this uh, varying voltage. So uh, there is a concept of PWM uh, and I hope you have gone through our previous video uh, I think lesson 10 in which we have talked about it like how to generate PWM and how to get this varying voltage. So uh, this PWM can be used uh, can be used to generate varying voltage okay or we can say our uh, different voltages so this is a very good concept like just by changing the speed of lm which is being applied on this dc motor we can change the speed of this dc motor okay so in this project what we'll do we are going to vary the speed uh, with respect to the potentiometer that means we are changing the required voltage for using potentiometer and then uh, based on that read voltage the speed will be varied okay so i hope you are uh, familiar with the potentiometer it has three terminal it is a three terminal device and if we apply plus minus 5 volt let's say across this terminal then at this point uh, at this point we say v out we can get this v out as uh, some R1 into V in which is 5 volt divided by R1 plus R2 so by changing knob of this potentiometer we are changing the resistance so ultimately we get this varied voltage across this potentiometer so we will be changing this voltage from this potentiometer and thus this voltage will go in Arduino and based on that it will generate a voltage at the pins of the Arduino using PWM so let's talk about the circuit diagram how we have connected it right so we have uh, this is our arduino uno 
okay and then uh, we have connected uh, this potentiometer so we are representing it by this varying resistance so this is connected to analog input voltage which is a0 we have applied plus 5 here and the ground here and then uh, we have this uln2003 not uln2003 l293d and the output of this pin which is uh, for getting this pwm because at pin number 9 we get pwm we have connected it to pin number 2 right and then one point of the motor is connected to this point and the other point has been connected to the ground uh, to pin number 3 this is pin number 3 and this is pin number 6 and here we have connected pin number 7 as a permanent ground so ultimately we are getting pwm here so similarly because it is also connected to plus minus 12 volt using adapter so here we will be uh, also getting a pwm but the pulse cycle will be of 12 and 0 right so maximum will be 12 and minimum will be 0 here this pulse cycle uh, pulse will be of plus 5 volt and 0 so uh, this is uh, need to know uh, like if we are generating a pwm of 50 percent duty cycle so we are generating a equivalent voltage of 2.5 volt at this side from the microcontroller but on the uh, motor side uh, we are also generating the 50 percent pwm but here vcc is 12 volts so we will be generating equivalent of 6 voltage uh, which is being which will be applying across this motor okay so these are the circuit which we have created now based on this uh, let's uh, create uh, uh, let's write our arduino code and then we'll move uh, for the demonstration uh, of the uh, work okay. uh, so let's open arduino create a new file so what we are doing we are reading the analog voltage from potentiometer and then sending the value to the uh, pwm pin okay so first of all we need to set the pin mode of the corresponding pins pin number 9 as output and then number a0 at as an input and then let's save it uh, let's say desktop now uh, let's define some variables uh, so we need a variable which will be reading the data from the analog pin for that we need an integer type okay so let's say integer type value this will be the uh, this will be you this variable will be used to read the data from analog pin and then we need to convert it into the corresponding analog voltage okay so let's say we generate a voltage and it has to be float float and then we need uh, a PD, uh, a variable uh, in which will be calculating the pwm duty cycle and again that has to be a uh, integer type okay so now let's write code here so uh, let's read the value the so analog voltage has been read and now let's convert it to 
this corresponding voltage so if you have gone through up lesson 9 you came to know like how we are converting it voltage because the analog rate will give from 0 to 1033 volt now we have to convert it into in the range of 0 to 5 so we have to multiply it 5 and divide it by 1023 okay so well into uh, we are creating uh, multiplying it and dividing by floating point number because if we do it by integer uh, we will get only integer value and the decimal points will be neglected so we have to write it like this now this voltage has to be converted into the corresponding PWM voltage because the same voltage we want to generate at the PWM pin. But uh, as we know, on the PWM we have to write the value between 0 to 255. So this voltage has to be converted into in the range of 0 to 255. So we have discussed about it a lot in our lesson number 10. So you can uh, go through that lesson in order to understand what exactly we are doing. So let's say PWM equals to, we just have to multiply it by 51 into voltage. Now when we are multiplying it by 51, voltage is a floating point number and it will be a float. So we have to type cast it into an integer type. And 51 into voltage. Now uh, let's uh, uh, write it simple. Unlike write pin number nine and the PWM volume. Now let's compile it and see how it behaves. Okay, let's put some delay as well. Okay, no need to delay. Now let's have a look on the hardware uh, which we have created for the demonstration of this one. So let's uh, open it. Let's start the web camera. Okay, so this is the multimeter on which we are visualizing the value and we have also connected a LED to the PWM pin and this value is going to this motor. Power supply is being provided from the adapter and here we have a DC motor, right? So right now we have not turned on the adapter otherwise it will become uh, destabilized and here is the potentiometer whose value will be changing and on this uh, multimeter you will be seeing uh, this uh, uh, how much voltage we are we are sending from this potentiometer and the output of this potentiometer is going to pin number a0 so let's change it and let's let's first turn on this power adapter so this motor start rotating yeah so right now it is rotating slowly so i hope it is visible to you yes now it is visible to you okay, okay. we are getting 1.86 now let's change the value As value is increasing, you may have noticed this intensity of this LED is also increasing, the speed of this motor is also increasing. So, we are now it is running at a full value. So, we are generating overall of 4.5 volt uh, value, and the corresponding near about 11 or 10 voltage has been applied on this DC motor. So, this is how. Uh, we can change or we can control this speed of this DC motor from this potential. Now I am reducing the voltage. Intensity of LED is also reducing and the speed of this motor is also reducing.
okay so now very less voltage has been up, is being applied on this DC motor and it is rotating very slowly now let's increase it once again one more time okay so it's two of you can use this particular application in any of your project in which you can control the speed of uh, robot uh, based on certain condition okay. so now it's rotating at full value now it is very okay so this is how you can control the speed of a dc motor using potentiometer so i hope you like this video and you understand a lot from this video so if you have any doubt any question or any suggestion then you can let us know by commenting below this video further we also provide uh, online tuitions and help in technical assignments we also do freelance based project based on a bad system matlab uh, python data science machine learning so if you have any such requirement then you can let us know by at our website uh, through our website which is www.jcbrolabs.org or you can also mail us at jcbrolabs at gmail.com so that's it for this video thank you